at the community center. Can we go now? Of course you can go, girls. Oh, you know what? Since everybody is bringing a specialty from their country for the new year, Dad will make his sausage soup. How do you like that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't tell you. Or I could bring Vasilipita instead. Oh, oh yeah, so, so good. good. After all, it's the cake for the new year in Greece. Oh, all right. It's Vasilopita for the win. Sophia, the kitchen is yours. <laughs> That's great, Lola. We're having Mom's vessel of pizza. Uh, yes, hello. Uh, an emergency? Uh, yes, of course. All right, I'm coming right away. I have to go to the hospital to help my colleagues out. Work again, Mom? I know, sweetie, but I really have to go. I'll try to join you before midnight. <laughs> I bet that's Coon here to pick you up. See you tonight, Coon. Okay, Mrs. Sophia. Wait for me for the countdown, girls. Love you. Oh, man, I really hope Mom will make it on time tonight. Oh, sorry, Coon. Don't worry, Millie. The Chinese New Year is in February. And my parents will come to visit for the Year of the Dog. Year of the Dog? Oh. In February? So not everyone celebrates New Year's at the same time? <gasps> Hi, everybody. Hey, Dan, what are you up to? I'm trying to fix the CD player. Pass me the wrench, will you? Thank you, Millie. Dan, is it true that there are multiple New Year's? It depends. New Year's Eve always happens on December 31st, according oh. to the Gregorian calendar. Hmm. That's a calendar based on the cycle of the sun. But then there are calendars which are based on the cycles of the sun and the moon. So then you need to make elaborate calculations to determine what day New Year's Eve is going to be. In my family, we call New Year's Eve Rosh Hashanah, and we'll celebrate it on September 10th. What's the date for you, Hamid? For us, the Muslim New Year is just two days later on the 12th of September. Well, for us, it's much earlier. The Chinese New Year is often in February. Well then, I'll go and tell the sun and the moon to just come to an agreement about the calendar business. There are so many different dates. Did you know that each culture has a different calendar? For example, Judaism appeared a very long time ago. And if we're following the Jewish calendar, we wouldn't be welcoming the year 2019, but rather 5779. The Muslim calendar starts with the Hegira, and to us, the year 2019 is actually the year 1440. Hmm. Have a honey cookie, and may the coming year be sweet. Yay! Hey, Millie, huh. it's Juliet. She says it's important. What? You can't come if you don't have your socks? Without my socks, I can't celebrate the new year. I've got to go look for them. Later. Juliet is really weird. Do you know this tradition about socks for New Year's Eve? You know, there are some strange customs out there. In Japan, my dad and I, we would clean our entire house for the new year. It's a rite of purification to get a fresh start. The new year is like a sort of reborn. Look, these are our little good luck envelopes. We'll put greetings in them and pass them around. Oh, yeah. This reminds me of my grandma's greeting cards with the good luck ladybug. In Spain, me and all my cousins eat 12 grams of grapes when midnight strikes for good luck. <laughs> and it's that way all around the world. There are thousands of good luck traditions to start the new year. Oh, yeah? Oh, do they really work? No, they're more like small superstitions. Rituals we follow in the hopes of attracting happiness, as if by magic. Hey, maybe Mom is here. Hello? Hello? We brought some mistletoe. It's a Celtic custom. <laughs> My English grandmother would always bring mistletoe. She said that thanks to the mistletoe, we would get everything we needed for the new year. And we kissed under it. 
Millie, telephone. I think it's about socks again. <laughs> Juliet, what? Still looking for your sock? But you gotta come. Everybody's here. Mm, okay, then. Thanks anyway. <sighs> Hiya. Got you good, right? Salad? And look. Oh, so you did find your second sock. Dear uh -huh. Juliet, you're just too much. My Italian grandma says that red underwear is the best good luck charm for New Year's Eve. Great! I'm also wearing red good luck clothes. Huh? That must be Mom! Come on in. Oh, yes. Hello, everyone. <gasps> toast? <gasps> I love to make toasts. Yes, but you'll have to wait a little longer. They're not for right now. <sighs> no music, no toasts, no Mom. And Dad and Luke haven't arrived either. What a New Year's Eve. At least you guys are here. Hi. The music problem has been solved. And hey, look who's here. Tonight is totally going down. I'm ready, Dan. Hi, girls. <laughs> oh, my, we're almost there. Just one more minute. It's almost midnight, and Mom's still missing. Here I am. It's Mom. Yay. Watch out, girls. You're going to knock over the cake. Five, four, three, two, one. Hooray! Happy New Year! <laughs> Happy New Year, kids. All these different countries have different customs, but they're still very close to each other. I've got an idea. This year, it would be nice to also celebrate Kuhn's New Year, then Hamid, Yasmina's, and Dan's. That's a great idea, Millie. How about you? Do all your friends celebrate the same New Year? 